The next step is to install the Easy Gate. This installation is the same for all of our kits. The standard garden, the 6 foot deer, and the 7.5 foot perimeter or large garden. Since we are adding the deluxe conversion to keep our garden free from rabbits and groundhogs, we will show this installation as well. The first step is to choose where you want your gate to be. The opening for the gate will start at one of the poles we previously installed. For the standard Easy Gate, the opening can be as large as you would like to make it, and for the deluxe kit, the opening will be set by the size of the gate guard. Using the Easy Gate top as a spacer, we will install the short gate stake. Drive this stake into the soil until about one to two inches remain above the soil. Then you will set one of the poles on top of the stake and place the top inside the two poles to hold them together. This pole will be used to open the gate. Next decide how big an opening you would like and install the second stake and post. We recommend at least three feet to allow easy access with a wheelbarrow. After the fence is installed, it's as easy as removing the top and lifting the pole off the stake and opening your garden. Since we are installing the anti-chew and anti-burrow barrier, we are going to use the black diamond gate guard as a template for the size of the opening. Make sure that you allow about a half an inch on each side of the gate guard to allow for the rest stops. If you want the opening to be larger, you will need to purchase a second or third gate guard and install them the same way. Install the rest stops on the short and long stakes as we did on the posts in the garden before digging the opening. We will dig the opening using a flat bladed shovel to create a nice flat surface for the gate guard and dig it to a depth that will keep the round portion of the guard above the soil. Using a small hammer, drive the three stakes into the gate guard at about a 30 to 45 degree angle and replace the soil. After you've installed the metal fence, you will trim it at soil level across the gate. We will then remove the five cotter pins from the gate guard, lift off the metal retaining band, put the fence over the pins and replace the retaining band and clips. When you want to enter your garden, just remove the clips, pull the retaining band off, lift the metal fence from the pins, remove the top and lift the post. The addition of this gate guard, although a little more work to enter your garden, will keep your garden pest free.